Although some people doubted that it could be done, Tesla has delivered the first electric Tesla semis to Pepsi, and they did this at an event on December 1st, if you missed that. And what's so incredible about this particular electric semi is that it's so extremely efficient. I actually did the math and a Tesla semi fully loaded, as we'll talk about in a minute, is more efficient than a Ford F-150. That's pretty wild when you think about it. So let's dive into the details of the Tesla Semi, why it's so efficient, and also dive into all the, uh, the numbers and compare it to some regular half-ton trucks on the market. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. Now, obviously, when you're talking about a half-ton pickup truck, like a Ford F-150, and you're comparing that to a Class 8 semi truck, one that weighs somewhere around four or five times as much as the F-150. You would expect the F-150, a gas powered or diesel powered F-150 to be much more efficient than the Tesla semi because it's a huge uh, truck. Of course, you would look at that and say, hey, this vehicle is going to be more efficient. But I was actually surprised when I did the math that the Tesla semi is actually more efficient. At Tesla's delivery event on December 1st, they showed this chart, which demonstrated um, how much battery capacity was needed to take a 500 mile uh, real world situation test run all the way from Fremont to San Diego. As you can see, the Tesla Semi started out with a 97% state of charge and ended with a 4% state of charge. And as some people have pointed out, that means that the Tesla Semi only needed 93% of its battery capacity to travel uh, 500 miles. And once again, this is with a full load weighing nearly 82,000 pounds with the truck, trailer, and the load all combined. Now, of course, as I've talked about in the past, this is something that the Lucid CEO, Peter Rawlinson, brought up in the past, but um, there's a difference between smart range and dumb range. Anyone can just throw a bunch of batteries in a vehicle and make that vehicle go farther. However, the Tesla Semi is very efficient. Yes, it has a large battery pack, but comparable to uh, what it's able to accomplish, it's extremely efficient. For instance, on Tesla's website, it states that the Semi requires less than two kilowatt hours per mile when it comes to energy consumption. And that's fully loaded at an 82,000 pound gross combination weight. Now, of course, less than two uh, kilowatt hours per mile could mean like 1.99 kilowatt hours per mile. However, it's actually quite a bit less than two because Elon Musk recently tweeted out on December 2nd that the current efficiency, talking about the Tesla Semi, is 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. But he also mentions that there is a clear path to 1.6 and possibly 1.5 kilowatt hours per mile. So this number could even get better. And it's already, as we'll talk about in a minute, pretty impressive. Now, of course, when you're comparing the efficiency of a gas or diesel vehicle to an electric vehicle, there's a little bit of an apples and oranges comparison there. And so you actually have to do a little bit of a conversion to get a more comparable number for an accurate comparison. This is why the EPA has come up with what they call a mile per gallon equivalent or MPG with a small e. You might have seen that number, for instance, if you go to fueleconomy.gov and you pull up um, the efficiency of an electric vehicle, the main efficiency number that you can see there is a mile per gallon equivalent number. Now, when it comes to how you calculate a mile per gallon equivalence from an electric vehicle efficiency number, um, I found an article on Zembrick.com and it mentioned that, for instance, one gallon of gas is equal to around 33.7 kilowatt hours of electricity. And with that in mind, this article states that mile per gallon equivalent is the distance a car can travel on 33.7 kilowatt hours of electricity. And they give an example here. So if a vehicle can cover 60 miles for every 33.7 kilowatt hours of electricity, it's MPGE or a mile per gallon equivalent would be 60. So with that simple calculation in mind, we know from Elon Musk's tweet that we mentioned a minute ago that the Tesla semi requires 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile traveled. Thus, if you divide 33.7 kilowatt hours of energy equivalent to one gallon of gas by 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, you find out that the Tesla Semi can travel around 19.82 miles on 33.7 kilowatt hours of electricity. Thus, if you slightly round up, that means that the mile per gallon equivalent of the Tesla Semi is right around 20. 
In addition, as Elon Musk mentioned, there is a path to improving this efficiency. And if that efficiency goes down to 1.6 kilowatt hours per mile or 1.5 kilowatt hours per mile, you can see that the mile per gallon equivalent could go up to 22 in the future. When it comes to comparing the Tesla Semi's 20 mile per gallon equivalent efficiency number to half-ton pickup trucks that are on the market, you can see that each one of these trucks is less efficient in its miles per gallon as compared to the Tesla Semi. However, keep in mind, as we mentioned earlier, that 20 mile per gallon equivalent for the Tesla Semi is fully loaded. An 82,000 pound gross combination weight, once again, with the truck, the trailer, and the cargo itself, 82,000 pounds. When we talk about the efficiency of 19 or 17 miles per gallon for each of these trucks that we're talking about here, these half ton pickup trucks, that's not fully loaded with a full payload, nor towing a very heavy trailer. So in order to get a more apples to apples efficiency with a Tesla semi-efficiency number, we need to find out how much lower the mile per gallon efficiency number goes down with an internal combustion engine uh, pickup truck while towing. So in order to get some estimations on this, I found a video on the Fast Lane Truck YouTube channel. And in this video, they tested the efficiency of a Ford F-150 with a V8 engine while towing a 9,000 pound trailer. I'll put a link to the full video so you can watch all the details of this. But basically at the end, they calculated that that Ford F-150 uh, averaged around 8.4 miles per gallon while towing a 9,000 pound trailer. I pulled up the efficiency of a 2019 Ford F-150 with a V8 engine, and that truck has an efficiency of around 18 miles per gallon. So that means while towing 9,000 pounds, the F-150 with a V8 engine lost around 53.3% of its efficiency. Thus, if you take that average of 53.3% and you go ahead and you calculate that with the rest of these trucks, once again, this is not going to be a perfect number, but it will give us a rough estimate because I know that the Ford F-150 is probably a little different than the Ram or the Chevrolet or the Toyota Tundra when it comes to range loss and towing. But once again, this will give us at least a rough estimate here. And uh, when you once again look at this chart, a fully loaded Tesla Semi, once again, with an 82,000 pound gross weight, and you compare that to the Ford F-150 Ram, Toyota Tundra, or the Chevy Silverado, towing roughly 9,000 pounds, you can see that the Tesla Semi is more than twice as efficient whilst towing. Now, I don't know about you, but that really boggles my mind once again, that you can have a class eight huge Semi that weighs four to five times once again, that of a Ford F-150. And it can not only pull a lot more weight, but it's more efficient. That is incredible and that's an incredible feat of engineering. Now beyond half ton pickup trucks, because obviously we're not really in a real world going to compare um, a half ton pickup truck to a class eight truck. If you compare the Tesla semi efficiency to a regular diesel semi, it's also of course much more efficient than the average diesel semi. According to an article from aerotruck.com, the average diesel semi has an efficiency of around 6.5 miles per gallon. I also did some more research and found out that one of the most efficient diesel semis on the road right now is the Freightliner Cascadia Evolution. As was pointed out on southporttruck.com, that semi was able to average around 9.31 miles per gallon with a gross weight of 76,000 pounds. So once again, when you compare the efficiency of the Tesla Semi to even the most efficient diesel Semi, it's more than twice as efficient. Now, when it comes to the battery pack of the Tesla Semi, we know that that vehicle is not yet using 4680 batteries. It's likely using 2170 batteries like the prototype was previously. Um, and since we know that the efficiency right now is somewhere around 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, we can estimate that the battery size is at least 850 kilowatt hours. And depending on how much of a buffer that Tesla has built in and some of the exact characteristics, it's more realistically probably a bit closer to that 900 kilowatt hour number. Nevertheless, in Tesla's 500 mile trip example that they showed uh, going down the five freeway, south on the five freeway, they once again only needed 93% of the battery pack to travel 500 miles. That would mean that the Tesla Semi for that same trip should be able to go over 530 miles on a single charge if you went from 100% all the way to zero. Thus, if you assume an 850 kilowatt hour usable capacity for the Tesla Semi battery pack and you increase the efficiency 
to 1.6 kilowatt hours per mile or 1.5 kilowatt hours per mile. You can see that the Tesla Semi in the future with the same size battery pack could be able to go over 560 miles on a single charge. Now the Tesla Semi is not the only electric truck either on the market right now or about to be on the market. For instance, as you can see on this chart, there are a number of other brands right now that either have semis on the market right now or will in the very near future. But the Tesla Semi is the only truck here on this list and the only truck that is uh, available right now or will be available in the near future with a range in that 500 mile ballpark. This of course puts the Tesla Semi in a whole different league than these other semi trucks and makes the Tesla Semi much more practical. Now, when it comes to some of the factors that make this incredible efficiency possible, there are three basic categories that I wanna talk about. Of course, more goes into efficiency than these three categories, but these are three very important categories. First of all, when it comes to aerodynamics, the Tesla Semi has a drag coefficient nearly half that of the average diesel Semi. According to an article from notatesla.app.com, the drag coefficient of the Tesla Semi is 0.36 and they compare this to a traditional diesel semi, which has a drag coefficient somewhere between 0.65 and 0.70. Now beyond the drag coefficient number, the Tesla semi also has an incredibly engineered efficient powertrain, a tri-motor powertrain. Here's how the semi powertrain was described at the Tesla delivery event. Yeah, um, we've got a tri-motor yeah. uh, powertrain system. So, and they're, we're using the, uh, carbon overwrap sleeve. So essentially we're using the, 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 the plaid uh, Model S, Model X uh, powertrain. Yeah, this is really unique. I mean, we're going with a tri-motor system. One of them is constantly engaged. So that's for maximum efficiency. You're getting on a highway, that's doing the bulk of the work and it's operating at the peak efficiency point of the entire drivetrain. And then the other two units are for torque and acceleration. So when the driver needs it to get their job done, whether that's you know, getting out of a loading dock or it's on the road they need to pass somebody, you're tackling a grade, you have the torque and power to do it. And the cool thing is that these are clutched automatically, so no driver input needed, but it's also seamless. So the highway efficiency unit is cruising along doing its thing, and if the driver puts their foot to the floor, the torque unit spin up, clutch engages, and takes over, and it does all of that before we've maxed out the torque on the efficiency unit, so it's completely smooth. There's no turbo lag or jerkiness or anything like that, no driver input needed, it's smooth, both in terms of acceleration and deceleration for regen, it's uh, really cool happening all behind the scenes. Um, but you can, you can basically pull 82,000 uh, pounds uh, on, at cruise using, to, and the only thing that's doing that is a tiny little motor like, on one axle. Oh, that big, well, football size maybe? Yeah, yeah you oh, can yeah. carry it. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like a, you know, I mean, You, you can check it in your luggage. Good luck at doing that with a diesel engine. And one of those is more powerful than a diesel, yeah. Yeah, just that, just that one little guy is, is more powerful than a regular diesel engine on, on a, on a semi-truck. Um, but it's just, I find it like amazing that this enormous thing can be pulled by something that you could carry in your hands. It's like, wow, that's power density. Yep. The third factor that I want to talk about that helps the Tesla Semi be so efficient is the fact that it has um, an advanced heat pump built in, which of course helps with heating and cooling the battery pack and also heating and cooling the cabin as well. A thermal management system with a heat pump is of course much more efficient and consumes less electricity to take care of the heating and cooling needs of the vehicle. Now of course there are many other factors that we could talk about uh, when it comes to the power electronics built into the semi and of course the fact that an electric motor is much more efficient inherently than a gas or diesel vehicle which wastes a lot of that energy generating heat but nonetheless what Tesla has done here, some people said it was impossible, but the Tesla Semi is real. It's in the hands of Pepsi Frito-Lay, and uh, those vehicles are on the road right now. And uh, they're in the hands of customers, and we'll see more of these be delivered in the future. And I'm just excited to see the Tesla Semi on the road. Now, I do want to emphasize once again that the Tesla Semi is efficient, but also powerful as well. As was mentioned at the delivery event, the Tesla Semi only uses one of its three motors when it's cruising down the highway. And that motor is small enough that you can carry it, as was mentioned, um, but it's more powerful than a diesel engine. When you combine the power of the three motors in this tri-motor powertrain, this gives you the ability to have more acceleration than you would normally have with a diesel Semi on steep inclines. And as you can see in this video, the Tesla Semi can really even accelerate on a steep incline, like a 6% incline. 
In addition, the Tesla Semi, like other electric vehicles, it has regenerative braking, which allows the vehicle to recoup energy on the way down a hill. So with that kind of efficiency, the Tesla Semi is truly practical. Being able to travel somewhere around 500 miles in a single charge is incredible, but on top of that, the Tesla Semi charges quite quickly as well. On Tesla's website, they quote that you can charge up to 70% of range in 30 minutes. And this, of course, will be achieved on Tesla's new V4 superchargers, which put out one megawatt plus of DC charging power. And at the end of the day, the Tesla Semi is a feat of engineering, a very impressive feat of engineering, and it's really an incredible testament to the Tesla engineering team. I'm excited to see these vehicles hit the road. And I'd also love to hear from you. What do you think about the Tesla Semi and its efficiency? And what are some of the things that surprised you that you learned about the Tesla Semi at the delivery event? Let me know in the comments section below. Well, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.